Senior managers in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Religious Affairs have accompanied their minister, Honorable Jonathan Lacret, on tour of several health facilities across the island. The ministry's senior health promotions, communications and public information officer, Kevil Frederick, is part of the delegation. The continuous assessment of healthcare facilities, staff performance and customer satisfaction are of equal importance to the overall delivery of healthcare services and access at all levels, which the Deacon Mitchell-led administration is assiduously giving its attention. By now you know, Health Minister Senator the Honorable Jonathan Lacrette and his primary healthcare management team have been putting measures in place to address major concerns head-on, especially at the community level. Minister Lacrette, who is familiar with some of the concerns, is not shying away, but instead is determined to tackle the priority issues in a systematic way to improve services. We wanted to ensure that we touch base with all of the clinicians because sometimes, Kevin, um, when you get to the management level, you tend to get a bit comfortable. And um, I didn't want the management to get comfortable. I wanted to ensure that even the medical director, director of hospital services, etc., um, the CMO is usually out in the community as well as the senior medical officer for primary health care and chronic disease, etc. But when you bring the entire management out, I believe that everybody receives a greater appreciation for what the nurses face and what they go through on a daily basis. And also the patients, when they come to the clinics, what are some of the challenges that they have so that we can see how we can remedy these challenges for 2024 one by one. The island's health minister added there are some general things that we can certainly get done but I believe that the assessment and analysis that we are conducting right now is extremely important as we come to the final stages of our budget consultation as well so that we know how we're budgeting, why we're budgeting, um, especially for the retrofitting and reconstruction of some of the medical stations and the smarting of those medical stations as well so that you can make life comfortable for the clinicians as well as, as, well as the patients. He said we have put um, together a plan for the training of nurses next year as well as health care assistance but health care assistance in the first instance so that they can help bolster the skills gap that we have while we take some time to train nurses because you do know it takes about four years to train a nurse yes but um, we did notice that there, we still have some infrastructural work to do um, in some of the medical stations but um, material resources as well as human resource are two of the foregoing things that jumped out at us as a team. We are extremely excited we have earmarked the years 2024 to 2027 as the years of health sector modernization and we do have some strategic plans in place to ensure that we modernize incrementally and of course the nation is going to be um, informed and they're going to hear about those modernization um, objectives and strategic imperatives that we've put together for the sector but primary health care is going to be at the top of our list as it relates to high, high focus. We do have some big ticket items and they are medium term to long term, but um, we want to ensure that we have a very strong primary healthcare structure and infrastructure as we move forward. Because we believe from a medical perspective as well as technical perspective, if we get primary healthcare right, every other tertiary healthcare institution that comes is going to have a very strong, solid base to stand on because primary healthcare um, is running very smoothly. Another key member of the team is Mrs. Carol Tellisford Charles, Chief Community Health Nurse. As you are aware, a number of facilities have been refurbished and um, some new ones. For example, we had Gov some years ago. Then we had Victoria, which we recommissioned this year. We also had um, Good Hope, right? And um, we continue. So we're in the parish of St. David's and um, Wester Hall was one of the recent refurbished ones. But when we look at Pegmoton Vincent, Vincent's Medical Stations, these are two facilities that really need some um, facelift and some refurbishment. And we know that um, there is commitment. And um, for the 2024 budget, we're hopeful and we know that they are going to be addressed. Reporting, Kevin Frederick, Senior Health Promotions, Communications and Public Information Officer, Ministry of Health, Wellness and Religious Affairs.